This is the explanation to the ashes on arm trick. This effect has been performed for years. It's a very strong mentalism effect, but it's actually more of a revelation. You can pretty much reveal anything on your arm with ashes. It can be a playing card, it can be a thought of name of a person. If you do a center tear or use a peak wallet, like a mind reader wallet, you can figure out the information ahead of time. You could pretty much get this revelation ready to go and set up ahead of time. Let me show you how to do it. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a free arm and you're gonna wanna use a bar of soap. This is the most impromptu version out there. If you wanna use an ash pen, which they sell on the market, you can get one of those on um, penguinmagic.com. But if you're in a tight situation and you forgot your ash pen, go to uh, the bathroom if you're at a party. Go to the bathroom and grab a bar of soap and basically write in the name of a playing card in your arm with soap. And this is gonna make an invisible layer on your skin, you can drop your sleeve over it, and as long as you don't sweat too much before the performance, you're ready to do it. Now, the second part of the routine is actually getting them to pick something that you pre-wrote, okay? If you're doing a mind reading routine where they wrote someone's name down and you secretly got that information through a mind reader wallet or a peak wallet, you're gonna wanna do this in between. Um, so, I'll break that down in a little bit, but let's just say we're doing the card trick. If you're at a party where people are smoking, you can use a lit cigarette uh, and get the ashes from that. If you're in a cocktail lounge where there's ashes in a tray, you can actually get those ashes and use those. And keep in mind, ashes are actually the most, uh, the cleanest substance on earth because there's no germs, they've been burnt. So don't be afraid of ashes, they're not as dirty as they seem. If you're in a hotel lobby though, where they have those uh, trash cans and there's, um, I think it's charcoal or something that they put on top of that, people put their cigarettes out, I wouldn't recommend that. Don't use that. Just use real ashes. And what I do, since I do this in environments where there aren't people smoking or if I'm on the street, I have a tin can. It's, uh, you can use a mint case or they sell these in your grocery store and they usually have mints in them. Uh, and I take a piece of paper, fold it up, and put that inside. I don't write anything on the paper. If you want to draw a picture, some type of spooky picture on the paper, you can if you want but I just don't put anything on it, fold it up, put it in there. And if you want to put the lighter inside, you're all ready to go in one tight little small package. So you take that out and uh, give it to someone to hold. And you're gonna want to have them not open it, but just hold it and say, we'll get back to that in just a little bit. Now you're gonna wanna do a card force, okay? And what I've prepared for is the two of diamonds. If you have a one-way force deck, you can use that. You can use a classic force, which is my favorite. But uh, if you're uh, feeling like you want to do this um, easily and you don't have to worry about it, just do a simple riffle force, okay? And let me show you how that works. You're gonna wanna go ahead and take the two of diamonds, put that on the bottom of the pack, and cut the pack using a swing cut. Put the top, uh, the bottom on top, there's the two of diamonds, but you're gonna retain a break with your pinky. There's your pinky break. And this is standard stuff. If you wanna get more into card magic and you wanna learn about all these little techniques, check out Born to Perform. It teaches some excellent beginning techniques, including the pinky break and a bunch of other controls and forces which you can use for this effect, okay? So you've got your little pinky break and you're gonna wanna riffle down the side of the pack with your thumb and you invite your spectator to call out stop. When they say stop, no matter where your thumb is, you reach over, covering the front of the pack, and pick up with the thumb in the back. Exposing the two of diamonds, you show that to them. Let them see the two of diamonds, and they can memorize it, show it all around the room, make sure you don't see it. Drop it back on top and let someone shuffle the pack or put the pack away without looking at it. All right, now everyone's thinking of the two of diamonds. Everyone in the room is concentrating on that one card. So all you have to do is take your tin and your lighter, build up the suspense as you open the, up the tin, or have them do it, and reach inside and pull out what they find. They're gonna find this piece of paper. Take the tin, leave it open, and place that on the table or on the floor. And show them what's inside. Show that there's nothing on the paper, there's nothing inside, nothing written down. But you tell them to keep concentrating on their playing card because you're going to make the name of their playing card appear and you simply light that paper okay when this paper is lit be very careful 
that you don't burn yourself or you don't drop the paper and burn the rub, okay? Keep it right over the tin. Let the paper burn and produce ashes. If you're outside, be careful that there aren't gusts of wind coming through your performing area because you don't want the ashes blowing away. You need them. When you've made enough ashes or the paper's burnt enough to kind of get that grayness of the paper, make sure it's blown out and there's no fire. Lift up the sleeve and have someone hold your hand. It makes it a lot more intimate. When they're holding your hand, you can ask them to concentrate on the card. They don't see anything here, but when you take the ashes and rub them, pick them up, rub them all over your arm, that two of diamonds is going to appear on the skin as a dark script of that actual card. So once you have that figured out and you realize that, hey, you can do this with almost any revelation you want, all you pretty much need is a piece of paper inside a tin. If you want to use a playing card, you can, like a joker or a blank playing card. It's, it's always good. Um, but I recommend the paper. It produces more ashes and it's easier to burn. Okay? Take your tin, your lighter, paper, all inside, and that's your ashes and arm trick. All you need is a bar of soap. Hit up the bathroom and get yourself ready um, with any information that you might need. I recommend using an ash pen. Uh, which is sold in retail stores. You can get it on penguinmagic.com. Um, people have recommended using chapstick because it's in a nice portable um, little case like lip balm. Um, I found that soap is the most effective and uh, readily available source. Now, if you're going to do a mind reading trick where they think of someone's name, um, it's a touchy subject. Some people like to use a dead relative's name or someone that's passed away or someone that, you know, someone that's in the other life. I don't like to get into that, but if that's your style, uh, if you can find out the name ahead of time, all you have to do is write the name on your arm. Um, this has been done on TV and it freaks people out. You can find out that information ahead of time, and if you're doing a stage show or a big show, you can have that person come up, and even though they uh, wrote the name down and they're thinking of that name, um, you can ask them and say, earlier I asked you to think of someone's name that was no longer with us, am I right? And they'll say yes. But you don't mention to everyone else that they wrote it down, and they'll totally forget about it. You just say, keep thinking of that name. You haven't told me, right, who that person is? They'll say no. And you haven't told anyone else? They'll say no. Of course, it seems to the audience that they're just thinking of someone, and you have no idea who it is, but you do your paper burning ceremony, rub the ashes on your arm, and that name appears. That's a freaky sight when they see someone that only they know. and. Um, they never told you who it is. So you can try that if you want. Um, I like the fun of it, just using a playing card. It's simple. But if, you're, if you want to get a little darker and get a stronger effect that might be a little personal, on uh, a personal level, if that's your style, go for it. Get the, get the name. It doesn't have to be a dead person. No. It could be a relative or a friend that they haven't seen and they've been meaning to talk to. And that's Ashes on the Arm Effect. Have fun with it, and we'll see you next time.